Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about another approach to design a solar tracking system. This is the solar tracking system without the sensor. It uses the real-time clock and superimposed with some path diagram to track the sun. So, the system component involved are the servo motor, the node MCU and its base, and also the DC DC converter. Optionally, you can get the, this uh, real-time clock module which you can store the time information inside the microcontroller but this method will have one disadvantage when the battery is low so you have to reprogram the whole microcontroller in order to get the time from the PC again. So in this method, I'll be using this Node MCU to connect to the house Wi-Fi and to the Blink server so that to receive the real-time clock information. The wiring is a bit messy. I just do for the purpose of demonstration. Let me connect the connection and put under the sunlight. So the position of this servo motor must be correct. It should be facing the south. So on the left hand side is the east and right side is the west. So every day it will rotate from left to the right. So from the blink app, you can see the angle is facing 91. That means it's nearly horizontal. Let's see the long term effect of this tracking system. In order to calibrate the solar tracker, this is the component that I use. So this one will cast a shadow towards the base and we can determine the angle of the shading. So there are two bases here. The first circle is to determine the angle up to 5% loss in power and the outer circle is about 10% loss. Let's try out on the tracker. So when the solar tracker is operating at very bright sunlight, just place this onto the tracker and you will see the shading actually it consists of two vectors let me zoom a bit the up down vector and the left right vector so the vector component on the up and down now the shading is on the top side that means the sun is from north at the back it replaced with the sun diagram so what we need is we need to calibrate into the left right component to minimize the shading so one function i want to show is in the app there's a uh, two buttons one is a horizontal and one is energized the horizontal button is to enable the solar panel and go back to the horizontal position okay this one is for maintenance purpose or calibration so once everything settled, you want to make it automate, you just push the button for energize. It will go back to the tracking position. So in the Blink app, make sure you get the RTC module widget. And here they will show you the angle position of the solar tracker. So when you are on my blog page, you just click the first image of the sun path. It will lead you to another website. So this is the sun path diagram. So at first, we turn it down to latitude 0, longitude 0, time zone 0. So the direction of this sun path is the north at the top, the south at the bottom, east and west. So the sun travels from right to the left. It's opposite of our solar tractor. So this is the example of the how the sun moves. Horizontal line is the movement of the sun every day throughout the whole season. That means sometimes they go up and down. The number here is the number of hours. That means at 12 p.m. the sun is at this position. Due to the declination of Earth axis rotation, there's a 
changes throughout the year. So if our soil tracker position at the optimum angle, optimum angle will be the average between these two lines that's been at the middle. So we can see the deviation towards the upper limit and the lower limit is kept at 23.45 degree. So it's the angle of declination of the earth axis of rotation. So typically north and south power loss, the maximum is about 10% loss. This is because the calculation of cosine formula cos 23.5 degree is about 10%. Throughout this particular months, some of the months they are very near to the optimum angle. In average, throughout the whole year, the loss is very minimum, so it's about 5%. So we also can use the solar tracker to determine the calibration that we did earlier. So in the Arduino code that I programmed, I key in the database of the sun path diagram which is based on latitude 0, longitude 0, time zone 0. If you have a different longitude, for example, there's a slight angle change. So this is why we need a calibration. So for example, in my case, I'm staying in Puchong. So I get the longitude and the latitude of the location. So what we need is to key in the longitude value. So it's about 102 at east. So it is at positive. So longitude is 102. Okay. Then the time zone, we need to key in these two. The longitude and the time zone. So time zone. So in this case, the time zone is plus 8. Then what we need to do is get the first January value and 7 am and we record down the hour angle 93.90 this will be used to calibrate the database that i put in so go back to the blog page so kindly read through the rest and it will show you the difference between the fixed tilt panel that's been throughout the day there's a uh, losses the single axis tracker the losses is very minimum and the two axis tracker there's a hardware wiring over here you can read through it there is also a software step-by-step -step guideline you have to download the apps create the apps and the projects and whatsoever and this is the widget setting in the blink app on the pc you also have to download the node mcu box manager and all the accessory libraries below are the step by steps so at the end of the page there's a DIY solar tracker using RTC and Blink app let's open it up so once you open the code file there are a few things you need to change the first one is the off token this one you can get from the Blink app through the email address your Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password this one you can check it on your phone the final thing is the offset angle. This one is the previously the hour angle that you need to note down. That means it's 93.90 in my case. So I key in 93.90 over here. So different time zone and different longitude will have different hour angle. And make sure set to 1st January at 7 am. As you can see during 1st January 7 am, this is the reference angle. As we compare to the SunPath database, January 1st at 7 am, the angle is 75.90. So if we compare these two values, the difference is actually about 18 degree. So based on cosine formula, cos 18 degree will be about 5% power loss. The SunPath diagram is very accurate and is very tally with the manual calculation we did so once everything done, you just click verify and upload. So on the north and south losses, just now during the test is about 10% loss. So let me go back to the yesterday test. During this month of July, it deviates about 23.5 degree. This is the max. 
So based on the cosine formula also, cos 23.5 is about 10% loss. So this is also tally with the manual calibration that we determined earlier. Good morning. Yesterday I didn't do the calibration, so I re-upload the code and now do a test again, a manual test. As you can see, based on the shadow, the left-right component is nearly calibrated. Thanks for watching.